Benny had a wonderful band at that time when I was with him. It was uh, in 37, 38, and part of 39. And uh, it was when Harry James and Ziggy Elman and Gene Krupa, you know, mm -hmm. were with him. And it was a marvelous band, and we, I had a marvelous time working with them, although it was awfully hard work. We, uh, we worked an awful lot. Yeah, and Benny's pretty much known as a taskmaster. Uh, that, that probably didn't ease things up. Well, he kept us on our toes, let's put it that way. <laughs> He certainly did, but he was a wonderful man. Martha Tilton sings the outstanding novelty hit of the day, The Lady is a Tramp.
without your life would seem so bad. With open arms, I call to you, I want you dear, just as I beat for you. Does it uh, does it frustrate you that you are primarily known for um, for Andy Angel sing? No, not at all. Uh, in fact, um, it it really helped my career a great deal to uh, to have you know to have something that was that uh, a big hit uh, like that record was. It it made people know who I was, you know, for, for a long, long time, and it's still popular. People still like to hear it. A couple of months or so ago, we introduced a new song to you, and now you hear it every way you go. They tell us it's headed straight for the top of the list. We're sort of proud of it here because it was written right in the clubhouse. Johnny Mercer wrote the words, and Ziggy Elman took care of the music. The band and I are going to play it for you with Martha to sing a chorus, and Ziggy will blow it away on the last chorus. And the angels sing.
Did you know at the time while you were recording it that it was uh, going to take off like it did? Oh, no. In fact, I didn't think it was going to be a hit at all. Oh, really? <laughs> I remember uh, when we went into the studio to do it, it was in the wintertime. It, was in, uh, in, in, it wasn't in New York City. It was in Camden, New Jersey. That's where we recorded for Victor. And uh, it was cold and, and snowy and... We went in the studio to, to do this record date, and Johnny Mercer, you know, who wrote the lyrics to Angel Sing, he hadn't completed the lyrics yet. So he hurried up and wrote something down, and, and we said, all right, we'll make a take. So we took a first take, and so when we finished it, Johnny said, well, I don't particularly like that line. Let's do it over. I want to change it. So he changed the line, so we did it again. Well, that went on for I don't know how many takes. Huh. And poor Ziggy Almond's lip was giving out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was getting hoarse from thinking that Angel said. So we finally got it right. Johnny liked the words and everything was fine. And I remember on the way out, I, I was going out with Harry James. And as we were walking out the door, I said, gosh, you know, after all that work, Harry, uh, I don't even think that's going to be a hit. <laughs> and I was dead wrong. It was a big hit. It was a smash. And now for a follow-up tune. Once in a while. Once in a while. Once in a while, 